Hey guys, welcome back to my next book preview video. This week we have Art by Pedro Perez, Pin Up Girls, 18 plus, so there is your warning. It is cartoon nudity, but there will be some exposed breasts and such. So there's a quick look at the front and back. It's actually really difficult to fit on camera, this one. It's really quite a big book, actually. So the very top and bottom may be cut off just a little bit. You may see me covering certain bits throughout and the actual size is it's not much bigger than A4 but you know it's noticeably bigger especially when you're trying to fit it on camera. Okay so I just wanted to start on this page because I have to admit the quality on this I don't think it will show up on camera. Some of these images I've only just got this through but they are quite good quality you know it's a nice print it's a good company but then certain ones like this when you see it in person for some reason the print quality is really blurry. Now, I'm not sure whether that just means that the image itself on that one was too small and they've scaled that up because these ones look better. This one, for example, looks much crisper. So hopefully that is just a one-off, but I did want to point that out. Again, the book is quite large, the pages themselves, and some of them are double spread, so they don't all come across super crisp. But yeah, I have a feeling that it's that they've been drawn a little bit too small for this size book. Again, I don't think it'll show on camera, but this one is a lot blurrier and this one is much sharper, smaller image. Although with this one, it may be that he's actually deliberately used a camera blur. So take everything I'm saying with a pinch of salt. So the company that I get these from is Omniki Editionis. I don't know how you say it. As you can probably tell, it's foreign. It's not English. Um, and the prices are actually not bad. You can get hold of them in the UK, though. This time I actually got it. Um, on Amazon. I'll put links in the description box below, but I don't know if this is just my copy and I, again I don't know if it shows on camera, but mine does have like lines through the prints on some of them. I'm pointing things like this out and it probably won't show, but I don't know if that's just my copy. Like there's little brown marks on it, like little, I don't know, little things that are stuck to it almost. Which is a little bit odd considering it came wrapped and sealed, so I'm not sure what that's all about. I don't know if that's just my copy or everyone's, but Back to the actual content of the book itself. Obviously, it goes without saying you will only like this if you like pinups, and it is specifically quite cartoony. Those of you who've watched my videos hear me say it all the time, but I never used to be a fan of cartoony work, exaggerated styles, things like that. I was always a little bit more realistic with my artwork, but slowly things like this are growing on me and I'm really learning to appreciate them. You can see a lot of fan art or fan art themed things throughout this uh, but yeah so the style is really growing on me and I'm really enjoying artist work more like this sorry by the way about the glossy pages they do reflect quite a lot of light and I tried to do a little bit of research on this artist before I recorded this book or before I started recording but honestly I couldn't find that much on him and um, he does have a patreon page and I follow him on his instagram page so as usual, I will put links below to things like that so that you can find his work. And certain ones like this or his work in general reminds me a lot of the artist Dean Yeagle. For those of you that are familiar with his work, I think that's an older artist now, but similar sort of cartoony style. These ones are maybe a little bit more detailed. I think things like this are really cool. I mean, his pinups are cool in general, you know, in bikinis and whatnot. Some of them sort of more classic pinup style. But I'm personally, I prefer the ones where he's got more, you know, warriors and I don't know, cool situations. But that's personal preference, I guess. Again, some fan out there. Yeah, sorry. So what I was saying is the book seems to be mainly, from what I can tell, it's mainly digital art. As we get to this back end, we'll see more of his sketches, which I'm a much bigger fan of the sort of sketches compared to the finished rendered work um, with most artists. But they are really nice in this book. I have noticed on his Instagram page recently, he's been posting an awful lot of traditional work. I would say it's more like Copic marker work. And again, it's really good. So definitely give him a follow. So there we go. Moving on to some more of his sort of sketchy black and white work. I call it sketchy. It's still very clean compared to anything I could do, but not fully rendered. That's what I should have said. And I've actually got quite a few books from this company now but the problem is previewing them on camera because quite a lot of them are adult themed or not adult themed, but pinup books. So we're getting towards the end now. I've shown quite a lot of the pages. So I think if you guys are interested in this book, I think you will already know by now whether this is your kind of thing or not. 
it's not too expensive, especially, I think the page count is actually like just over 100, so not bad at all. Decent sized book. So I will leave it at that. Mine's got quite a uh, noisy close to it. I don't know if that... <laughs> I don't know if that means that it's going to damage easy or what. But anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful if you were considering buying the book. If you did enjoy this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. As well as that, hit that thumbs up button and switch notifications on for future content. You can also leave me a comment below and let me know what other books you guys want to see in the future. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.